Malia, I, I know you moved to Nevada. Um, you're in a tiny house now. So, um, what, so what was the reason for the move and, and, uh, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. So I was out in Kansas and I just couldn't afford to really stay there anymore. Rent was getting too expensive. Um, I was training alone every day and that was starting to get old. Uh, so it was kind of at the point where I was like, well, do I quit CrossFit or quit competitive CrossFit and get a real grown up job? Uh, that might be my only option. And then um, Sean Sweeney posted about looking for somebody to come out, coach for him, train with him, and in return, live in a tiny house on his property. And so I m sent him a message. He re responded about four months later. <laughs> but uh here i am living in a tiny house in sean's front yard i coach at his gym crossfit power stroke and now i get to train with him and the crew that we have out here and um it's been awesome i'm so happy to be here that's awesome so for a tiny house like how 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 small is this tiny house um it's like a shed <laughs> um so i'm in my living room right now which is also my dining room my kitchen uh my closet <laughs> and then i've got a loft upstairs where my bed is um yeah that's about it is it like eight is it like 800 feet like is it like like maybe like to like 13 feet by 13 or something like that um if i had to estimate i'm really bad at estimating these things um maybe like 20 feet by 10 feet something like that damn okay okay so it's like a new york city apartment for like three grand <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically yeah so so how is it how is it training with uh sean sweeney i know you said oh, it was it's good. so much fun yeah what, yeah what is, John's um, a good he has a yeah, he's a lot of fun to, to be around. Uh, he's an awesome coach and an awesome training partner. Um, when I first got here, he was kicking my ass pretty bad in every workout. And then after a couple months, uh, I actually beat him for the first time in regionals, Linda. So that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. And then that was maybe like two months ago. Uh, and since then, I've beaten him a handful of times. He still <laughs> kicks my ass a lot. Um, but it's pretty cool to be able to hang with him and uh, definitely get a push from him and hopefully push him a little bit sometimes. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Let me add Kelly back. So guys, I don't know what happened. Okay. All good. It, it happens. It's stream yard once in a while. So no worries. Yeah. So, um, well, that's awesome. So uh, are, are, he told I, me still... he had to drink a full thing of salsa. Yes, we our agreement was the first time I beat him in a workout. He had to chug a pint of salsa. So is it, is it like on my Instagram? Is it like super spicy or is it like just regular mild stuff? It's like a mild green salsa. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! But still, Yikes. still, as, as Sean's all about his bets, though. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> the way that he chugged any liquid is very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so has he, has he challenged you like to like a drinking competition once? Like, you know, obviously not now, but like, you know, when you got there, like, Hey, let's party. Sorry. You cut out for a second. What was oh, that? No, you're good. So, d so did, did Sean like, you know, give you like a drinking competition with like you, you and him together, like, cause he's so competitive. <laughs> no, I don't drink. Okay. <laughs> So no. Okay. <laughs> well, right. okay, that's not true. We had a <laughs> we had a competition that we ran through the gym last weekend, and at the end of the competition, the MC that came out, uh, his name's Joel, and he always does a Topo Chico challenge at the end of the competition. So Sean and I partnered for that. But since I don't drink, Sean drank both the Topo Chicos and I did most of the rowing, and we. Yeah. Did not win, but that's because we were competing against like 215 pound men on a rower. So <laughs> sorry, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is it like coaching, coaching at this place compared to the uh, Cobra command where you were before? Um, it's very different. Uh, it's 
a very small town here. I'm in Fallon, Nevada. I think the population is like 8,000. Um, and so it's very much small town vibes. Uh, mm -hmm. We're like an hour from Reno, but there's nothing out here besides Fallon. Um, and like half of our gym is the volunteer fire department. <laughs> um, so it's uh, in some ways it's a little more laid back because it's not like um, in, in Kansas, it felt like we were always having to uh, figure out how to be the best CrossFit gym in the area because we were always competing with other CrossFit gyms in the area. We're the only CrossFit gym in Fallon. <laughs> so it's, it's much less pressure of like, how do we make ourselves better than the other gyms? And it's more like, how do we make this the best experience for our members, which is a lot more fun, I think. <laughs> But it's That's been really awesome. great. The community here is awesome. That's awesome. That's great. That's great. Uh, we'll we'll talk a little bit more uh, about that later. But Hannah, what what have you been up to since uh, last time we were talking? Well, I guess. Uh, I mean, I did team quarterfinals. That was fun. We qualified for semis. So um, excited to go to Knoxville. Very exciting. Um, man, I don't know what else I talked about. Like, I don't know what else has been up. It's pretty much just me, like, establishing my, you know, so, like, sports chiropractic practice, or at least my part within the one I joined. And um, that's in CrossFit. That's well, ac really actually, actually, you have something else, but you haven't talked about your YouTube channel. Oh, my God. I So, guys, I just post videos of my rehab exercises, and I see Tom comment on them all the time, and he's been giving me advice, but... I just post them so I can just send the link to my patients to be like, Hey, this is the exercise that we went over today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will say one has blown up, which I don't know why it did. It, it, barefoot. It is barefoot. That is why. Yeah. You, you gotta, why. you gotta it go has barefoot. Like 30,000 views, which oh I, like, I don't know where the internet's going, but I'll take it because I don't know. Maybe at some point I could actually monetize off of it and get some more income coming in. So that would be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you know, what's, you know, what's shocking. Um, yeah. So, you know, what's shocking. If you do more barefoot, barefoot videos, I guarantee that's going to go off because like my yeah. wife, like <laughs> I've talked about this before. So she's a fashion influencer on for Amazon, as well as like Instagram and stuff like that. She's got like, like 315,000 followers on Instagram. It's Dude, insane. And it just kills it. And um, every time she posts like an outfit with like open toed shoes or like a bathing suit with the like open toe, like all the dudes are like, come get some. Like, can I get some? Like, just like, you know, like, like you know, send me a picture of your feet. I'll pay you, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's insane. And I'm like, and Hannah, you should just go barefoot the whole time in your chiropractic office. I mean, I should, I really like at, at some point, I mean, we specialize in a lot of runners. I mean, we're in a CrossFit gym, but, um, where I live in Charlottesville, Virginia in the very run centric community. So like actually most of the stuff I do in is like barefoot or wear socks. I just, I'm just going to like throw off my socks and just let it, just let it take off at this point. Yep. And you should do, you should do like close ups too. Like, <laughs> like, you know, like do like ankle rotation drills and like show your bare foot and then like, you know, nice. I'm going to tell my boss this. So. Yeah. He slow. Needs, he needs help film for like for this. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, he, if he wants his clinic to take off, if he really wants it on social media, I, I can be there for him. That's, yeah. I, I almost want to face sponsorship. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> definitely. Yes. I have yeah. them right here. Like I have, I have my toe spacers right here. They're just not on my feet. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I have them too. Are we about to turn this into a foot podcast? No, yeah, no, no. Holy no. Feet, no CrossFit. Just <laughs> how how to blow up on social media with uh, feet social media posts. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, I almost wanted to take pictures of my wife's feet. It's my wife's feet and post it on Feet Finder. And so just so I can get like another like you know source of revenue that's, that's coming yeah. into the household. It's an so, income, man. Yeah, I mean, she's like, I do not do that. And I'm like, yeah. you know, yeah. we're miss we're missing out. We are missing out. It could be yeah. a couple grand each month. You never know. Yeah, I know. It's, it, it'd be crazy. And then, like, I could just, like, you know, intertwine my feet here and there. And, like, you know, maybe they'd appreciate oh. that, you know. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Kelly, so I know we, we've talked a couple weeks ago, but um, how's everything going with you? It's great. 
it's uh yeah things are moving fast um uh i guess since we last talked um i've been offered a spot on seminar staff so starting that journey let's yeah, go let's that's go so cool that's awesome yeah. dude that's like a dream of mine so it is it's been a dream of mine for a really long time like i remember asking pat barber at my level two what it was going to take to get on seminar staff and, and it's been like five years six years since then <laughs> but uh we made it happen. Yeah, it was it was cool. Like as soon as I like started backing off the competition, like full time training, that was the next goal. So it feels good to, you know, be in it. And granted, like just being accepted on staff is only like the start of a very intense growth journey. Yeah, <laughs> there's a, like a lot of learning ahead, but it's very exciting to. And, just, but a, but at least the good the least the good thing is they don't they want you to succeed so it's not like they're just yeah. like trying to like get you fired right. or anything like that it's <laughs> yeah, just like yeah yeah <laughs> you know i mean they, i they want more people to join the seminar staff so it's like obviously they're gonna they're gonna be harsh and some critiquing but whatever i mean it's no, you they want you to, to, not, but that was like what i loved about the opportunity to be on seminar staff is that like i don't know um well, i don't know uh, you guys might have a feel for this but like I'm a 6 a.m. coach. I'm like the morning shift. No one's around when I coach. I don't get feedback very often anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's a, and I have, I'm the most experienced coach at my gym in terms of CrossFit. So like, there's not a lot of feedback for me and like growth opportunities. So I love that part of it, that you're just surrounded by the best coaches in the world who have you know, tons more experience than I do. And you're just getting like so much feedback and you just like, it was really, it's really cool to see. There's like, oh, there's like 10 more levels to go in coaching. Uh, and that's exciting. I love that. Yeah, no, that's so cool. Like when I was in Atlanta, uh, one of the gyms I coached at had someone on seminar staff and then wow. uh, Chuck Carswell would come by like every so often and run nice. l to the gym. Yeah. And I mean, it's so cool. Like, I love that it's like, you will get feedback and it's because they want you to improve and they want to have people on staff that accept it and at like the next and then at the next seminar actually are able to implement it and yeah. i mean i no it's that's so cool i'm like yeah. i'm very excited for you i love that yeah no i was the kid when i was younger i would like go ask my coach like what can i do better where are my weaknesses and if i got like a you're doing great keep it up i'd be mad i'd be like no, that's not like <laughs> it doesn't help. Give me something to work on. <laughs> that's awesome. That's like the perfect fit for seminar staff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, That's so really what, cool. are, so what are the requirements for you now? So I know since you're on there, so it's like every, like you have to do like one weekend a month or every weekend or how's that work? Um, you can kind of like set your own availability. Um, I don't, I'm not through like all of their onboarding processes yet. So I haven't seen like the actual system, but, um, the way I understand it, you like set your availability. Um, and there's like some combination of like, they can assign, you know, like assign you if you're available or you can actually like request, like, I really want to do this seminar, you know, or I want to work this weekend or something like that. And, you know, based on locations and who's available and who has experience, you know, all that stuff, they'll factor all those things in. Okay. So with the on, so with the onboarding, do you have to send in fee, fee picks too as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> part of the interview process yeah. that was really awesome. uh i don't know that that pinky toe looks a little suspect i don't know like yeah, maybe yeah. maybe we shouldn't send it to california maybe we should send her to montana or something like that yeah that sounds good no i'm just thinking i'm like do you have to like move like james hobart and julie fouche like that's what i'm wondering like right. that's like the spot check it's like right. they like line up a photo of james hobart and just like look up at you back and forth yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did have a moment when I was, uh, I had to demo uh, back extensions. Um, I think it was back extensions, something like it would No, I had to demo like a, a squat where I was like, super like hunched over. I had to demo it poorly. 
Yeah. And I couldn't do it. I was like, I can't round my spine that much. They're like, more, make it look worse. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't, I don't. Like, I'm oh, fine, man. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations. I'm really psyched for you. So I, I know during the podcast, you were really, you were really excited about, you know, trying to get on, on, on the seminar staff. So that's yeah. awesome.